Hey, this is Brian with King Grizzly. Let's take a look at using absolute positioning inside of Elementor. So I've got a design here, and I'd like to throw in a couple images, but I'd like you know, to look trendy. I want them sort of floating um, on the page design. So what I'll do is I'll throw in an image here in this right column. Uh, just grab whatever. There's a picture. I want another image. Drag it in. Let's see. Oh, San Francisco. Yeah, that'd be interesting. So that's really not very cool. Um, what can we do to spice this up? So I'm gonna click on a picture. First thing I think I'll do is I'm gonna limit the width in pixels. So go to style, pixels, set a smaller width for that. These are these are neat photos, by the way. Whoever shot these is talented. Okay, talented with their Lightroom filters. Set a width on this one. Okay, that still doesn't look good. What are we going to do? Here's the secret. Absolute positioning. Click on an image. Click on advance. Go to custom positioning. Under position, choose absolute. Now watch this crazy magic. I can just drag this wherever I want. Unreal. So I'm going to put it over here, I guess. And I'm going to click on this one. Advanced. Custom positioning. Absolute. They have to adjust, right? Suddenly this is getting cooler. So I'd probably just fiddle around until I've got something that I think looks nice. Now, absolute positioning can be a little finicky, so you want to kind of use it sparingly. I might make this one a little smaller. Um, and then what we can do is on tablet and mobile size, we can go down and adjust. So on tablet, I'm certainly going to need to, to tweak it. So I may decide that I, this, you know, this featured title box should be 100% wide, and then maybe I'll just, you know, drag these differently. Or maybe, you know, maybe I'll put one up here and, and one over here. That would look terrible, but I could do it. Um, what I'd probably do is make this column a, width like 50 percent um, this is styled poorly I'd have to adjust my text but then I could come over here with my pictures I could change the width here so so I actually get a better layout um, so you kind of get the point um, this is weirdly uh, slides not text so I'd, I'd have to restyle that but if it was a normal column with a text box that would just flow if I go back to desktop, it remembers, and then you can get really wild if you want to. Well, oh, one thing I should mention, what if what if we wanted an airplane in front, right? Click on it, go to advanced, change the Z index. So add a number like one. Okay, that didn't work. Two, two worked. Um, generally one to like 99, somewhere in there is good, with 99 being the type of number you'd use on, say, a main menu. Um, but there, if I wanted that, I actually decided, no, I like the Skateboard Kid. Um, but there's some actually some animation effects you can put on top of this. So I'll click on Skateboard Guy, go to Motion Effects, and there's lots of interesting options. Entrance animation, so I could have it fade in, like fade in up. That would be kind of cool when the page loads. But I can also set scrolling effects, and this just gets really interesting. Um, vertical scroll. So I... Basically, you can kind of set like a, I believe it's it's like a drift as you're scrolling. So let's see if it works. And it's moving a little bit. Let me see if I've only just started fiddling with this feature. Yeah, you see, there's a little movement going on there. Um, but there's horizontal scroll. There's rotate. Um, so as you as you scroll, the image can rotate. You could get tacky really fast with this, um, but it's cool. Like there's different options: scaling, um, scale up. It's getting bigger. So a person who's tactful could make some, just some pretty awesome designs with absolute positioning and some of these motion effects. Um, so that's a good intro to some absolute positioning with images. Elementor has some good documentation on this on their site. Um, I'll try to put a link into that. Um, and please, you know, follow our YouTube channel if you want to more uh, Elementor type tutorials. 
and thanks for checking us out.